Today, we're gonna to be checking out a product that I was sent and that I'm in the beta testing mode for. You can sign up to be on the waiting list to try this if you'd like. Uh, take a look at the link below. The company is called Ultra Human. I'm going to talk to you about my experience with the glucose monitoring kit. There's a lot of these glucose monitoring kits out there. I happen to be trying the Ultra Human. They call it Cyborg. But from now on, it will be Cyborg. Cyborg. It must be called Cyborg. I don't know. I. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna show you how it goes on uh, and, and answer some questions that I know that people generally have about these products. And then I'll tell you a little bit about why you should be interested in glucose monitoring. I honestly didn't think I would ever try it. I decided to try it with, with Ultra Human because they, they gave it to me for free. And I've got to say that um, it's pretty cool. After two weeks, you have to change out the device. So I'm gonna put on the device now. I'm gonna show you how this works. So you have to shave part of your arm. Here we go. We're gonna sanitize this area that I have designated for my device to be implanted in. Here we go. Time for Cyborg. Cyborg about to happen now. Okay, so that was it. It did not hurt. Um, I mean, there is a little bit of a, like a pinch feeling, but that's literally all it is. And you can see that uh, it's on and um, it's in my skin now. They also provide these little, uh, these little stickers so you can put it over the device. To be honest, um, I don't really like the stickers very much. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one on just because I just wanna show you how it looks. Um, let's see here, here we go. And it sticks on like that. Now, what I can do is I can go into my Cyborg app, into the Ultra Human uh, Cyborg app, and I can um, check what my up-to-date glucose is. Okay, great. And I'm going to, uh, going to sync it up. And the glucose sensor has been activated. Uh, and it takes about 60 minutes for the initial activation to take place. So, so your first day or so, the glucose reading is gonna be a little off and it kind of needs to get to know you a little bit. Is the first time I set it up and then I ate immediately afterwards. Uh, so today I tried to make sure it's been a good two hours since I've eaten and it will be two hours before I eat again or at least over a couple hours before I eat again. And so now I'm, I'm not really worried. The cool thing about glucose monitoring is that it's, it's monitoring more than just what you eat. And this is something that, you know, if you've taken my six week online breath mastery course, you know, is that our blood sugar is affected by our stress levels. During the holidays, we're all under a lot of stress. And of course, as a, as an entrepreneur, as a uh, person who has uh, business pursuits, I am, I, I'm oftentimes there's deadlines. Uh, and of course, I'm also a college professor. So there's a lot of things, um, a lot of things pulling at my time. And I could see a, a direct correlation between stress and between blood glucose. So the interesting thing was, I was able to use the language of breathing to bring my blood glucose down. And the, it, it, was, it was funny because, you know, I'm still stressed out. Stress is always gonna affect us. Um, with the power of breath work, I was able to really bring my breath, my, my blood sugar down. Now that is not saying that all breath work is gonna do that. I was doing specific breath work that is that I've already discovered works really well for me to calm myself down. And it took about 10 minutes of that style of breath work to see a dramatic reduction in blood glucose. The nice thing is I, I was able to test that. I'm also able to test foods, uh, activities, especially cardio. Whenever I was doing cardio, it's really interesting to see what that does. Now, this is something that's gonna be really helpful for people that, um, first of all, if you are borderline diabetic or if you're diabetic, I, I mean, I can't imagine poking my fingers daily, like I, my good friend Chuck McGee does. Uh, I've got a lot of friends who um, have to poke their fingers every single day. This is just a, a constant reading. It gives you exactly what the reading is at any time, real time. You know, here in the, in the West, we have usually, uh, most states are about one out of three people are pre-diabetic. So I can see this is an incredibly good thing for a person who is on the borderline, who wants to start learning how to make better decisions. But you're looking at me, you're like, hey, okay, okay, Jesse, why would I care to have a constant glucose monitoring? 
So primarily, I'm looking to, first of all, make sure my glucose, my blood glucose stays within the target zone. And the cool thing about the app is that it educates you on all of this stuff. So all the questions that you have about blood glucose, why would I care? Uh, what is a good um, blood glucose reading? What's a bad blood glucose reading? All of those things are in the app and it educates you as you go. So I went to, I, I got this started during the holidays and Thanksgiving time, my birthday. So I, I've been to a lot of parties. I've, I've seen the effects of alcohol on my blood sugar. I've seen the effects of, of desserts. I've seen the effects, it's interesting that, that I've seen the effects, the differences between home cooked meals, meals that would normally be seen as, wow, that's, that's gonna hit your glycemic index. That's really gonna hit your blood sugar hard, but they're home cooked meals with quality ingredients from my own dear mother versus um, food that would be pretty much the exact same foods, but they are not home cooked. They're at a restaurant or they're at a place where I know that it's not from scratch. So it really is interesting. The, the more home cooked meals, the obviously my, my parents are into organic things as well. It's amazing how that does not hit my blood glucose as much as if I go to a restaurant. And it's, it can be pretty much the same exact foods. I even ate a piece of my mother's pumpkin pie and it was less effect, it had less effect on my blood glucose than some of the other things that I had eaten from restaurants. So it was really kind of cool to see how that takes place. Ultimately, I am trying to find out more about what's going on in my body so that I can honor my body. I really want to honor my body. It's a beautiful gift that I've been given and I want to take good care of it. And uh, I'd, like to, I'd like it to last a lifetime. Uh, so that's why I'm doing the blood glucose monitoring through Ultra Human. You can sign up if you'd like to get on the waiting list. This is an amazing, I, I will say it's a really cool product. The waiting list is free if you just want to be notified when it's available. You can take a look at the link below and you can sign up for free for the waiting list. Um, it is a monthly fee whenever it'll eventually be out. I'm not 100% sure what that monthly fee will be. So you'll, whenever you sign up to the, the mailing list or the, the waiting list, they'll email you the, the offer and it is going to be a discounted offer because you got in on the waiting list rather than waiting uh, until it came out later on to sign up. So check that out. I'll be doing more experiments on this channel just to see what certain things do to my blood glucose levels. If you have any ideas, what I should check, what I should test, put them below. I'd love to know I'm going to be in the laboratory for as long as I'm, tr I'm trying this product. So let me know. Uh, and guys, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't done it so already, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to go out there and be kind to one another.